Hi Gardeniers, welcome to a, another garden interview. I'm here today with Anton, Tim, Sean and Meta. Uh, let's start off this interview. So Anton, what are your main lyrical and musical influences? Well, I, I, I got a mood board. Uh, I got a mood board from Hugo. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy from the uh, Patat Generations, it's called. So we had like uh, radio uh, uh, free on uh, on the radio, and then we had the Ferry Mart Soul Show on Thursday. So that was it. Actually, as a kid, what I got from uh, influences. I'm 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 not really from a, a very musical family, but my father was, so there was a little bit there. But then uh, through my best friend, I met, uh, I listened, I heard uh, Jimi Hendrix for the first time, and uh, Herman Brood, and then I always went there. To listen that again because I was really addicted to it, and he had like this little uh, piano, like a small children's piano with only white uh, keys, and it fitted with uh, Herman Brood because everything he composed, almost everything, is white. So I was like doing that, and then I found out they also had like a little sort of banjo sort of thing, and then I always had to go there, and I had only had two strings, but I was really happy with it. But then I didn't really know that I wanted to be a guitar player. And then uh, when I was 12, I was in a, in a, in a class and then of music lesson. And then, and then they, they, said, they asked to, to the class, uh, well, um, well, does anyone play an instrument? I, I thought, no, I, I, I want to climb in trees. And, but there was one guy who was uh, from uh, Egypt, I think, Najib. He was called Najib Nakar. And he said, uh, well, I play a little bit with radio sometimes with my guitar. And then I thought, wow. That is, you know, like that is possible that you can play along with with a with a guitar. So I was uh, then I knew I wanted to have a guitar, and I got one, and I got a teacher, and then I started smoking uh, Dutch weed, and uh, and I forgot the whole thing, you know, like I was only going out, but still I was funking in E, and I had a teacher that would almost lived in, but I I didn't know I, really that I wanted to become a guitar player. But then when I was uh, a student and I, I, I studied law and I was uh, oh. not happy. Yeah, I did. No. <laughs> no, no, you don't believe it. But I was not really happy with, uh, with that really. And then we had, uh, uh, we had uh, this uh, um, uh, uh, mushrooms we ate and we were walking through the town. And I was like really confused what I should do with my life. And they said, well, you play music. And I thought, wow, I can do what I want. And then I knew for sure I wanted that. And then. The only thing I've, since then, what I did was like music and music and playing yeah. guitar every day, even on the holidays. So yeah. uh, I made my hobby, m my hobby. Yeah. And how did you get into jazz? Because did you uh, well, first yeah, start off with that, jazz? Or? Yeah, no, I wanted to be a professional. So you go to, to the music school, to conservatorium. Yeah. And then uh, you, wanted to, you want to do gigs and, and, and the conservatorium uh, with, with the jazz conservatorium is, of course, ruled by the horn players, of course. And, and you want to have the gigs, so you, you find out what they are playing. Yeah. And you go to the jam sessions, and it's all songs from, yeah, like, like the, the, the Cole Porter songbook, etc., and Miles Davis, etc., etc. But as a kid of, uh, so, so then you really get into the repertoire. But as a kid, I listened to it also quite a lot. When I was 15, 16, I, I liked very much uh, um, Weather Report, for example, and the more, the, the more modern work of uh, Miles Davis, I was really into that. And now somebody else can talk yeah <laughs> <laughs> well I'm still gonna I still have questions for you yeah. before I yeah. take them in <laughs> yeah. so you have to cut a lot yeah. out because so it's an evening, right. yeah. evening film program yeah. <laughs> you have quite a few shows coming up for all the for all the summer is there one in particular you're looking forward to well, yeah that, well I should I have to say North Sea of course but on North Sea is great that it is in Holland, etc. And it's great programming. But I always feel, I always want to get out immediately when I did the gig, which is not good uh, uh, because it's so huge and people are walking like like big slurves or like big big snakes of people, you know, like, and, and there's no, you cannot find anywhere like a real uh, point for, for, for that, you, uh, that you need for a real concert. But uh, I also gonna play on the, uh, on the Zwarte Cross. Uh, we, uh, to, uh, I lost with a, with a, uh, uh, with another band, but then we play eight times a day from from uh, 12 o'clock till eight o'clock. Uh, every hour, every hour, one half an hour. Okay. So it's that's really. Uh, yeah. I did it three times now. It's, that's really. I look forward to that. It's crazy. Amazing, yeah. With all the drunken farmers, and you actually, it's, <laughs> you won't believe it. It's <laughs> yeah. like. It's so crazy. you are involved in quite a few different projects. How do you manage to? 
get around all of them and uh, well yeah planning but also uh, devotion yeah i think you have to really go what you're going to do i, I really need to be well prepared and really dive into everything what they do and that is uh, what i recognize also in my, in my favorite musicians yeah do you but, ever uh, struggle with maybe communication between some some uh, different no, people agenda or? things no no not really oh, no that's no great. no it's it's cool yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so how did you guys decide to make the ton petit project can you tell us about it a bit well yeah, i have to answer that also i'm sorry <laughs> yeah i i was i was like uh, there was this this terrible uh, uh, yeah everybody has this corona story which is yeah I, I, I wish it wasn't a corona story but I just started in my attic I was kind of happy because I had so much time to uh, to compose and to uh, really dive into uh, the, the guitar playing itself and not the, 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 the performing so but really dive back to the instrument so I started knitting with my music and uh, and then I thought, oh, I, yeah, I just want to record it. And then I uh, yeah, I asked, uh, I met Tim when I was uh, 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 allowed to lead uh, the Dutch Jazz Youth Orchestra, and he was in there, and he had to play all all my weird grooves, and he didn't have any problem with anything, so he just could play it. And then he was also really flexible in in his approach and he tried this and then even when I said well to try something soko soko or something he said soko soko what is soko soko I didn't know really but I made him listen then he dives into it and he's really a very eager musician and Sean I know from uh, Krupa and the Jeans which is a uh, uh, um, uh, a group where we also play uh, quite modern music with with old meters and where you have to be really creative and it was with two drummers which is uh, like really asking for trouble <laughs> but you can do it when you have him because he's the most professional musician I know which sounds a bit but it's really true <laughs> I don't know anybody and I'm, I was uh, when the first time I heard him play a meta I immediately fell in love with his tone he's got the most uh, most um, uh, sincere most uh, tone that I know it's like really the way he sounds and with saxophone it's they're all the same sort of shape and the same same thing so it's really difficult to put yourself in it with, without looking or sounding like somebody else but yeah it's meta and it's, it's always it magical what, what it comes out so uh, great yeah that's uh, how I got it yeah. So in jazz, obviously, there's a lot of improvisation. How do you guys work around the communication? Because I guess, you know, we're you're all professional musicians, so it shouldn't be that hard. But if you guys have maybe have a secret to share or tips. <laughs> Take it away. Oh, uh, what do you mean on stage in music? Yeah, music on stage, work. yeah, especially when you're playing live. And well, like yeah, in order to I just had to talk with, I, I don't know, like explaining like, uh, we uh, that's apart from studying our instrument that's what we study most like to be uh, uh, free in in what we do so uh, but uh, it's like having a conversation we can have a conversation like okay we're going to talk about this and this topic and you can study the topic and then we start talking we already know how to talk and yeah. then so it can go anywhere this conversation and that's this is a conversation with four people yeah. And uh, of course, you have like different roles. Um, um, like being a drummer is different than being a, the saxophone player. But ideally, uh, you, you're not stuck in this ploy. So it, ideally, it's totally flowy. And of course, you have kind of a route map for certain songs. Like you have kind of a plan. Like it starts off with this, and then we improvise towards this and then when this melody is played by this and this and this you go to this but sometimes if you play more and more and more that that whole plan can change too and that, I, I really like that when it, that's happening like that's the, the the bands that i listen to the most like the later uh miles davis bands and yeah. and and they are completely free with the form also and 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 sometimes they play it in this tempo and or in this dynamics and then it changes and then they move like halfway to another song that's for me the high point of uh, improvisation okay. and it's not 
just do something. It's yeah. like based on years and years and years of yeah. training and training to have your ears open and training your reaction in the moment to things you hear. Yeah. And that's to, uh, why I love Anton. Like he can be talking and then I start playing something and he, immediately he's there. So it's his reaction is like unbelievably fast. Yeah. And with a lot of imagination, like, uh, yeah, so he comes up with ideas that uh, that 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 then then I'm I have to react to this and you know but with the four of us it's a really nice balance yeah. between all those like being professional not in the way like being like a, a lawyer or, yeah. but but being you're having your shit together and then having being open-minded. Yeah, and so I presume being professional as professional well. is not about being closed. It's like to yeah. be open and. Yeah, and not to have be able to ego in the way, I presume, because some artists, you know, they can have, they're like, no, I want to be the one playing the loudest. Or yeah, whatnot. that's another thing. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, did you guys ever encounter um, some things like that in different projects where it just didn't work out at all because of Clash? This is a horrible moment. No. 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 <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. He did. He just we all, we all. Yeah, I think every everybody's Everyone. encountered that at some point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so you said, yeah, it takes like yeah years of practice and stuff to get that communication going between instruments. So maybe for someone who's starting off with jazz, what would you recommend for them to do when it comes to this communication between yeah. everyone? Um, I think that uh, playing a lot together is like super important. Like. Uh, uh, while I studied in the conservatory, like I, I did a lot of sessions with people, that's with students that I met there. But I think also if you're like before that, if you're not in a conservatory yet, or you're, like you're young, I think uh, a good thing is to listen a lot to the music, to listen to to do the rec to good records, and to check out what what they are doing, like to to get all the information and the music and stuff to your ears and then go out to to people to sessions or like uh, for example here in Rotterdam I know there are a lot of nice jam sessions where you meet people and where you start playing together and I think that's one of the most important things to also forecome that you are too much busy with yourself like yeah. in your practice room and shedding and stuff because of course you want to become better in playing your instrument but I think uh, the most important thing is that you become better in playing as a yeah. team, as a band. So yes. going to sessions to play with other people is a How good often thing. do you all play together? How often did we play together? Yeah, Oof, yeah I d <laughs> didn't, didn't count. <laughs> yeah, not so, <laughs> not, not not so, so very much. Yeah. Because it's a very, uh, yeah, there is not so much demand for instrumental music like ours, but we still play like some 10 times a year or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And we, we do some rehearsals also. And uh, I think it's uh, what he says also as a group, it's really important to make the, 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 the meters to, to then, then things get in the, uh, the playing that really only happen when you're a band. Yeah. And you can only become a band when you play a lot or when you get experience of playing of together. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're on, the, on the way, we're okay. coming. Slowly but surely. Yeah, yeah. slowly but surely. <laughs> slowly but surely. Yeah. <laughs> everyone be doing right now if it wasn't for your music career what do you think you'd be doing this one for you <laughs> what, 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 what would you do if you were to um sport mom or uh, <laughs> no farming i'd be doing some sort of farming or gardening okay. something like that mm, teaching maybe but <laughs> teaching another subject okay like i would love to go to back to to uh, university and uh teach history of uh, uh, study history or but yeah yeah i don't know no, i really don't know yeah, i, I yeah, think yeah. uh si since Going i was young i just want to play drums and that's, yeah. that's the only thing i yeah. want to do <laughs> me too but uh, I, I had the same situation uh, question before so i thought about it uh. Uh, and uh, um, I, I would be a houseman 
Then uh, because uh, my partner, she, she, she's got a job, and then I just would do like do everything. Uh, uh, the cooking, yeah, the cleaning, like cooking and everything. <laughs> yeah, I would be a houseman and still playing yeah. guitar, like yes. for my hobby, which still is my hobby. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. And what is your favorite non-musical activity? Since recently, it's like uh, mine is now uh, uh, driving a boat. I just bought a, like a nice boat and with a motor on it, and I like to be on the water and to uh, yeah to drive a boat. Yeah. So nice. I like to do that. Uh, I, I I I run a lot. Take nice long runs. Runs. Yeah, drinking a Belgian beers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, <laughs> eating with friends like, uh, and in a way, you know, you you get with friends into a zone that's similar to making music in a way. Yeah. I really love that. The timelessness of it and the free association. I make it more beautiful than it, uh, than it is, actually. Yeah. Drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Well, I would like to... I, I have this image of a long table with a lot of people that you know or don't know. And everybody's eating and there's wine and there's also a lot of time for everybody. And, uh, uh, yeah, just enjoying life. Yeah. yeah. With a lot of friends. Yeah, That great. would be nice. And all of you guys individually, which musician, dead or alive, has been your the the one who's influenced you the most with your music? Shall I go first? Yeah, I'm still a big fan of Bill Frisell. Uh, that influenced me uh, quite a lot. I have to think a little bit. <laughs> you go first. Um. Yeah, I have to. I have to say, uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, Miles Davis, and all the great players he had in his uh, bands. <laughs> I think for me, a figure that uh, really started um, uh, putting jazz drums for me in in a very like was like a very big inspiration was Art Blakey. Nice. Yeah. And if you guys could give one word that would best describe this collaboration between you all what would it be i know it might be a difficult one <laughs> yeah that's for one word it's difficult yeah. i think for now we call it meta <laughs> 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 still, we're featuring meta actually yeah the, uh, I, I think uh, what he said like uh, um sens sensitivity sensitivity yeah could be sensitivity mm. and nice. yeah Okay, let's go to some fast-paced questions. What is the your favorite season? Favorite season, uh, spring. Spring. Summer. No, no uh, autumn. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Summer. Autumn. Uh, winter. Winter. Favorite board game? Favorite board game. Uh, Stratego. Uh, <laughs> Pictionary. Uh, Monopoly. Yeah, me too. Monopoly. Favorite dish? Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm of Asian, everything, but especially, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I like the duck very much, or, or yeah, walked things. Uh, Suriname food? Uh, ramen. Yeah, sato soup. <laughs> yeah. Sweet? Ramen. Ramen. Sweet? Sweet? Sweet or salt? Salt. Oh, yeah. Definitely oh, yeah. salt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Salt, yeah. salt, yeah. salt. Yeah, I like that too. Salt. But that's a long answer for yeah. a simple question. <laughs> eh? <laughs> it happens. <laughs> salt. Yeah. Sweet or salt? What? Sweet or salt? The ramen? No. Oh, sweet or salt <laughs> yeah. is the question. Yeah, the oh, question, I didn't yeah. hear. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting a bit deaf. Uh, salt. Salt. Oh, we have all the same. Yeah. Yeah. Cats or dogs? Uh, dogs. Uh, sorry, what? Cats, Cats or dogs? Or dogs? Uh, cats. Dog. Uh, neither of them. <laughs> <laughs> City or countryside? Uh, city. Yeah, I, I'm, I live in the countryside, but I like city more. I, I would choose city. Country. City. Tea or coffee? Coffee. 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 Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Yeah, night. Early bird. <laughs> uh, I'm both, actually. Yeah, yeah me both. too. Actually. It doesn't really yeah. apply. Yeah. Performing or composing? Performing. Uh, yeah. Performing. Yeah. Performing. Performing. 
Performing. Performing. Performing. Yeah. Performing. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you oh, guys for this interview. Yeah. Thank you everyone awesome. for watching and make sure to subscribe and like our channel. I'm so, I'm so happy we didn't make <laughs> silly jokes. I'm so happy we didn't do silly. Like, what's your favorite activity? <laughs> you know, like, like it's like, I was like, whoa. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, it's the first thing you think about when somebody asks. No, I actually was thinking about beer. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs>